Artivive is an augmented reality tool that helps creatives build AR experiences without coding in just a few simple steps. Have you ever wished your AR experience could move, transform, and tell a story all inside Artivive? Now it can. We're excited to introduce Timeline, our brand new animation and sequencing feature in the Artivive editor. Until now, you could combine images, videos, sounds, and effects. But with Timeline, you can finally animate them too inside the editor. Bring your layers to life with actions, without any external software. To try it out, go to the Artivive editor. On the home page, click Create an Artwork. Add your trigger image. This is the image the Artivive app will recognize when you scan it. Add your layers. Drag and drop your own files or choose assets from our element library. Then, start animating with our newest feature, Timeline. What is the Timeline feature? With Artivive's newest feature, you can now animate and time any type of layer or asset inside Artivive, like images, 2D elements, videos, 3D objects, sound, text, and even groups. To open it, click the Timeline button at the bottom center of your screen. At the top of the timeline, you'll see Duration. This defines the total length of your animations created with the timeline. For example, if you set the duration to 10 seconds, your animations on the timeline will loop every 10 seconds. To get started, simply add or drag and drop actions and connect them to your layers. You'll find all the actions on the right side of the timeline. Let's start animating. Click on the action you want to add or simply drag and drop the action onto the timeline. When you have a layer selected, the action will automatically connect to it. If you add an action without selecting a layer, it won't be connected. You'll notice this by the orange icon. If you don't connect your actions with layers, they will be ignored when the timeline is playing. To connect an action manually, select the action, open the settings on the left, and choose the desired layer from the Layer to Effect drop-down menu, which lists all layers in your artwork. Make sure to name your layers to make this easier. On the left, you can find the action's settings to set the start position of the layer, the duration of the action, and the speed curve. A speed curve shows how the speed of movement changes over time during an animation. It's the pattern of speeding up and slowing down that makes a movement look natural or mechanical. For example, linear moves at the same speed all the way through. Ease in starts slow and then gets faster. Elastic moves past the target and then bounces back and forth before stopping. When you select an action, the connected layer will be outlined in orange. This shows you exactly which layer you're animating. Next, you'll see a dotted line and a blue display appear. This indicates where your layer will end up at the end of the action. It's the path of your animation. To adjust it, simply drag the blue display, just like you would move or position any layer in the editor. You can fine-tune where the animation starts and ends by adjusting the position of this display. Then, by changing the length of the action on the timeline, you control how long the movement takes. A shorter bar means a faster animation, and a longer one means slower movement. And just like that, you've created your first animation. Remember, you can add multiple actions to the same layer. If multiple actions change the same value at the same time, for example, position, the action that ends later will take priority. Use this to combine, interrupt, or transition between actions by ordering them however you want inside the timeline. Once you understand movement, the rest of the actions follow the same logic. Let's go through them. Rotate to. Rotate a layer by a chosen amount. Scale by. Scale a layer up or down. Transform to. Move, rotate, and scale in a single action. For instance, if I want my fish to swim across the scene while appearing to come closer, I can scale and rotate it all in one action. Lastly, the show action that allows you to show or hide layers. This means you can time and play effects, audio, or videos exactly when you want. You can also combine actions. For example, 
I'm adding a rotate 2 on top of my movement to make the fish spin slightly as it swims. And yes, you can animate groups as well. Drag and drop the elements you want to move together, and then select the group to be affected. This way, all elements inside will share the same movement and timing. Any action applied to a group affects everything inside it, even elements you add later. Now let's see it all in action. By combining these actions, you can animate every element of your artwork. Here's an example built entirely inside the Artivive editor. Watch as all the layers move, rotate, scale, and appear exactly as you planned. With Timeline, your creativity has no limits. Animate, combine, and time your elements to create immersive, moving AR experiences, all inside the Artivive editor. Bring your art to life with Artivive and share your creations with us. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content in the next video.